What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Loverfella, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Um, I actually want to start this... What the heck? Is that a flying fish? I want to start this episode off with a challenge to you guys. I, if you didn't notice, at the end of every single episode, I leave it with basically a really inspiring quote. I try to put a really positive, inspiring, happy quote on my outro template. Every single one of them is custom made. I custom make a bunch of them for every video. I try to never use them. Maybe I do, but I try not to. And today, I am challenging you guys to post me in the comments your all-time favorite quote. Give me hashtag quote and what that quote is, and I'll put it in my outro template. Um, so that is what I challenge you guys with. Now, it's been like 24 hours since I made my last arc video here. So last night, what I did, and it took me about two hours, is I made a whole bunch of these vaults, started working on the shell of a vault base, or like a vault shell on the outside. Even on a high rate server like this, a super crazy vault wall is super, super useful because it's, they still take like whatever, 15, 20, 30 turrets to get through. We're going to go for a double layered vault wall around the outside of this. Unfortunately, last night at around 3 a.m., the three biggest tribes besides us decided to team up with us because like always, they found out I was a YouTuber, which it is what it is. I mean, I can't block out everything. You guys are going to see it here and there. So they came in. Basically, they busted through the backside somewhere, which makes sense. That was our weakest point. That's where I anticipated we get hit from. But I'm not sure. They must have come through one of these sides. This guy's turret tower still seems... No, it's down. So they came through the back end where we didn't have all the vaults, all that stuff set up. And they basically took us down. Killed most of our dinosaurs. They did leave a few like this guy, which probably was just due to the fact that he was incredibly tanky with nearly, well, now he has 700, 800, 900, 000, almost 900,000 health on him. And he's surrounded by metal. I just don't think they wanted to deal with that. And it looks like Sanic is still alive down there along with Nice Kid, which is our turtle. So basically our tanks and our fast creatures survived. They're probably uh, just thrown everywhere. But last night when we were playing, um, I wasn't online. It was too late for me. I don't really play at 2 or 3 a.m. my time. I don't know if they were from here or not. And so they destroyed all our turrets on the outside, pretty much every single turret, interestingly enough. Um, even though the server has kind of a rule against doing that, unless the gener if the generator's down, don't do it. I just have a feeling that this was very unnecessary according to server rules to break them all because the generator was, I don't know, you're going in one side. Why do you need to come in on all four sides? Either that was a very stupid attack or they definitely just wanted to take all our bullets, which is what it is. It's a PvP server. People are going to break rules here and there, and I have no proof that they didn't just break them on the outside, but our generator is right here, so interesting. They did leave some turrets on the inside, and all of our crafting stuff is gone, but it's not gone because they destroyed it. It's gone because Pirate John destroyed it. He destroyed it and killed me, making the executive decision to put all of our stuff on a pirate ship boat and uh, basically all of our stuff is now on a pirate ship boat and he's bringing it in it was at the top of the map bringing it home right now and uh, admin said passives are not allowed to be killed unless they're at, if they aren't at your base so admins at our base passives at our base can't be killed i know for a fact we had a couple passives that have been killed but again pvp happens uh people are going to break rules people aren't going to know the rules there comes pirate john look at him with the dramatic raft entrance yeah, yeah. Well, this is what Pirate John did, man. He stockpiled all of it in this base, put it in the corner. They didn't get any of it. And I got to respect it. It's super difficult to be willing to make a sacrifice like that. You know you're getting raided. You know you're going to lose that battle and you surrender the battle to keep the best stuff. They got some of it. They didn't get all of it. And these videos are so staggered. I'm releasing them so late that by the time this video comes out, we will have already rebuilt everything and they'll have no idea we did this guys and he took the best blueprints i mean he took the best everything and i can't thank him enough for that him and whoever else did it i'm not sure if it was just him but that's a clutch move right there that is a pro move because now we're back at it like we didn't lose our metal tools we didn't lose a lot of turrets we didn't lose a lot of stuff even some resources in there and don't mind me i'm gonna have my fun that's literally a max level dude that's pro that's a pro move okay then you got any meat uh, you can have this meat right here. Let me chop it up real quick. It's max level though. <laughs> I'll get some meat. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy with, uh, dude, basically that play. That was so freaking that smart, man. That was so smart. We are still in this. We are not giving up on this server and I'm staying on it right now until we become the alpha because all these series end from bad things, things that I can't control. And I'm not trying to do that this time. <gasps> Lover fellow still alive. This is the one that I also gave like 10 billion health. Good thing I did too, because he's still here, huh? This is the right way to make a uh, tank for your character. 148,000 health. No one would expect that. 
literally no one. You make that guy, you put your best stuff in it, and then boom, it's super secured. Um, of course, everyone watching this now will probably be looking inside of him, but don't worry, I'm not actually going to put stuff in there. All right, well, I guess now we lost, last night, um, we actually had 100,000 metal. Let me say that again, 100,000 metal in our base. Pirate John was harvesting all that metal, uh, took him forever. It's all missing now, I believe. I don't think he actually took any of it back, but I'll double check. However, the good thing is metal's not super hard to get. All we really, what is happening? Come on, buddy, why aren't you? Oh no, you're never gonna die because you're so tanky, but let's go, buddy. Um, he harvested a whole bunch of metal. We had a lot of it. It's all gone now, so we need to go on a metal run, which is going to be a pain without a freaking Quetzal because they killed our Quetzal, man. Um, it is unfortunate because of how it works out. Are you like overweight or why? Are you just don't want to move weight. 822. Oh, you are overweight. Well, let's take this off of you. I guess we can use all the resources we can get right now. All that fiber, some narco berries. That's all we need, buddy. That's all we need. So yeah, we got to rebuild this thing right now. We'll probably be working onto it into the night, trying to get it fixed up. It's getting dark, so let's get that Gamma 5 turned on here. But interestingly, they did leave a couple things, like our egg collector, nothing in it, nothing in this. But I'm, I'm glad this stuff wasn't broken. Um, Pirate John, oh, let's actually put that back in there. That's our little poop machine. Pirate John was smart to take the stuff away from them and even destroy our own vaults in this base. So they came in and there was nothing. He let our own items despawn, the ones we weren't taking. That way, they wouldn't get them. And like, that's a pro level move. And I guess they just decided this wasn't worth it. So we still have all this meat in here, which is kind of sweet. They didn't break our fridge. They didn't break our grill. We still have all of this stuff in here and all this spoiled meat. Mm, that means we're going to get some narcotics and get taming again here. And then in here, um, they didn't break our bed. So, all right. So I'm going to do my best to replenish what we have inside. And the good thing is now that everything's destroyed, we can kind of redesign our base. We can move things into better positions. Because like I said, I was not very happy with the way things were placed on our last base. Things were just kind of randomly just kind of thrown everywhere. This outer wall needs to be better layered. Um, we need to put our generator in the center of our base, not over here in the corner, which was a huge mistake we did. And I meant to fix it and forgot to. Um, let's go ahead and we can make this like a crafting room or something like that for now. It looks good in here. And this is a ship smithy, so I'm pretty sure it functions like a normal smithy, but it's cheaper to craft. And on top of that, it is smaller, so it takes up a smaller area, so we don't have to waste as much space. So maybe we'll put a couple ship smithies back here, uh, maybe like two or three fabs on this side. Let's get rid of this chair. I like that we kept it, honestly. That's pretty cool. Pick it up. And let's pick up this chair real quick. And we do have, let's see, we do have a lot of turrets in here that actually still have bullets, and all they need is just some generator power. Although, geez, man, they destroyed, like, every single wire in our base. This whole entire ceiling was covered in wires, and they are just gone. Which is interesting, because there was literally nothing for them to take. So, you might think I sound a little salty, and I am. Because it's just annoying, because we had a truce with these guys, man. That's what always happens. We had a truce, they said they weren't going to attack us, and they did, and it just is a bummer. One thing I want to do once we get this base taken care of, I want to go back to my plesiosaur base, and then just start getting some serious raids. Like, raiding constantly, because it's ridiculous how peaceful we were right now compared to what people have done to us and uh, i'm excited for that man i'm really excited for that it's gonna be some awesome content hopefully i can get it done in the next few days because uh, like i said i'm recording like three per day that scared me i'm recording like three per day right now so um definitely getting pretty crazy now what i need to do is we need to get some crit all right there's an army of allosaurus chasing me right now i'm gonna go ahead and try to just ignore them because i'm so fast and like hide them away from the base and i'm pretty sure like 22% sure that there is a little bit of crystal on this hill because isn't that where crystal usually is on the mountains? Let's hope. Let's hope because that's all I need. I think crystal, a little bit of metal, maybe some other stuff to create that super mega trank gun because I want to start taming some rexes and stuff tonight while we work on waiting for the metal to smelt. So let's see what we have up here. We have about 700 or maybe 1700 metal left, which isn't too bad, but things could be worse guys. Things could be a lot worse. We did Holy crap, there's obsidian next to me. I only I always thought obsidian was only found on the uh, on the center map. What is it's like a weird looking plant. Alright, boys, where's the crystal at? I'm scaling this cliff with no pants on to find crystal. I don't even think I can walk up this. This is oh oh this is like Skyrim. Like you guys play Skyrim. You try to Oh no, I'm Holy crap, that almost hurt me. Let's try it on this side. There's gotta be there's gotta be a little crystal. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, it just, does, it just doesn't want me to go up there right now. That would kill any normal character. There it is. I knew there'd be crystal up here. Let's bring back basically as much crystal as we can carry. It'll be nice to rebuild things with. It'll be nice to start crafting things with. Gotta get the basic things going again. 
And it kind of sucks though, because the tribe that raided us like was basically the alpha. He got wiped and I'm guessing he was salty about it and came after us, which is perfectly fine. We would all do the same. And now they've painted a target on their backs for myself and my allies. Do we need obsidian? Can't hurt, can it? Oh, look at all this crystal up here. Wow, this base spot really isn't too bad from the close proximity to this hill. It'd be a little bit better if we had uh, possibly, possibly like a Quetzal. That would make this so much easier. So I think that's got to be like our first tame. There's our base down there by that giant rock, so that's cool. And it feels a lot better recording these in advance because the reason I'm doing it is like I'm releasing different games. Oh, 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 that was scary. I'm releasing different games every two days, roughly is the plan right now. We'll see how it goes. And that might kill me, that might kill me. Nope. Sweet, 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 sweet. Where's my base? All the way over there. Jeez, I didn't feel like I walked that far. But this way I can delay the, the game. So like this video you're watching, I actually recorded say like four or five days ago. And so I don't have to worry about people seeing what I'm doing and freaking out and raiding me. And I think that's why I'm having a lot more success here. You might be wondering, do you really consider that success when you got borderline wiped? Um, yeah, I do. Because it's important to remember how far you've come from where you started. In every single thing that you do, remember where you began and you'll never feel like you aren't making progress. Like for me, this base began as just a simple thatch foundation that slowly turned in to an amazing metal base, right? Started off as virtually nothing. And here we are. And a lot of people in the tribe were discussing, is this Gamma 5? Wow, seems super dark. A lot of people in the tribe were discussing like, hey, maybe we should move locations. This location isn't great. And while that's true, the location itself is not that good. The stuff we still have left is good. And it's easy to look at it and look at all the things you've lost. And this is what a lot of ARC players don't do once they're raided and they give up. Look at what you... Did I pass my base? I have no idea where I am. Look at your base and look at what you still have left and then you can realize that you're really not as far behind as you think you are yes maybe you lost a couple vaults couple fabricators couple dinos you're on a 30 time server for my example it doesn't matter if we lost a few dinos go out literally shoot everything you see and you'll have them all back in a few hours at most yes it's annoying but people are generally very dramatic at times like this i am almost 99 percent sure i'm nowhere near my base I was running the wrong way. Let's do this. I probably a quicker swimmer than I am water or runner right now because I have such high oxygen. But like for me on YouTube, one thing that I look at is now I'm getting nearly 100 subscribers per day, which by the way, shameless plug here. If you guys, that's, this isn't a plug, but if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and do it because I see my analytics. 66% of my viewers are not subscribed to me. If you're watching my stuff and searching my name every day, you can just subscribe to me and then you'll be notified when my videos come out because you obviously like what I'm making. This stuff is made for you, so just subscribe because I know you're going to keep watching it. You know you're going to keep watching it. Do yourself a favor. But the, the subscriptions, I'm getting 100 per day, and it's amazing to me, and yet now there are days where if I only hit 80 that day, I get... I get sad. I'm like, man, this was a bad day for me compared to the previous day. It was bad. But if you look at that and you tell yourself like, holy crap, I'm doing terrible. I've got 20 less or 30 less or even 40 less than before. That's the wrong way to look at it. Look at it and say, oh my gosh, I got a hundred subs today. Uh, two months ago, I would lucky to get like 10 subs a day, maybe let alone a hundred. And so like, remember where you started from, remember where you came from and never forget that no matter how successful you become and like this is the kind of stuff I'm trying to bring to you guys from ARC. Like, that's a ridiculous thing to say, but think about it in ARC. Like, people get... What the heck are you doing, buddy? Oh, boy, the turtle battle. Hmm. These guys are just going crazy over here. Let's take them down. <laughs> that's pretty funny. But, like, what the heck? Is that a... Oh, I thought that was, like, a weird-looking T-Rex thinger. Just don't forget where you came from, guys. Look at this base. Like, actually look at this base. Does this base look bad to you? Look at all the vault walls. The turret towers just need a new generator. Maybe some fixed cabling. This Plan X can be cleaned up and, like, reorganized. The inside of the base is now a beautiful shell we can turn into something nice. We can make it more efficient. We now know our weak spots. We still have many turrets. We still have all of the work done in this quadruple wall. It's all still here, guys. It's all still here. So that's something a lot of people need to realize when playing ARC, especially ARC, especially games where you lose things. Remember where you came from. Now, I just need a little bit of cementing paste. I'm just going to grab a lot of it, make one of these, and then I need simple rifle ammo, which I don't have because we need a fabricator for. So I guess I should go craft up a real quick fabricator. Keep that door shut. It feels dirty to show that on my, on my video. Like people are going to see that and just like on the server and be like, holy crap, what a raid that'd be. Yeah, it would. That it would. All right, Smithy, let's just transfer all this good stuff into you. And hopefully, by luck, I've got what I need to build it. Oh, I don't. I need spark powder and oil. 
We do have some oil, I know that. Spark powder, we can make. I'll take a little bit of stone. I need to make a mortar and pestle. And then let's just place that somewhere convenient, like right there. Don't think we have any flint, unfortunately, but I can go grab that really quickly. Excuse me, Mr. John. Gonna go get that taken care of outside. We gotta get those walls fixed. We gotta get all this crafting stuff taken care of. We gotta move, man. We gotta move. All right, where's the stone? Also, ally base is looking pretty good up here. The tier two tribe, um, they look awesome. They're really holding together pretty well. I don't know if they were hit or if they just rebuilt it. Rebuilt it? Rebuilt, I guess is probably the better way to say that. And another thing I wanna do is once we get this guy up and running, I wanna kinda break, where are the rocks? I wanna break off and get out there and work on making my own mini base where we'll store things. Super well protect. There's literally no rocks out here. Turtle, scorpion, super bright light. Let's get that R, R dot bloom qual, Q, quality zero. Supposed to take rid of light shafts, didn't work. Maybe I typed it wrong. Where is the stone? I don't see any stone. There it is, all the way down here, a mile away from base, a little bit of stone. Perks of having 300% movement speed and a super strong pickaxe means that you just mow through things. There's not even the point of having a harvesting dino because you get it quicker. Maybe. That one must not be breakable. It's like one hit for to break into these, maybe a couple. Okay, that one was more than one, that's awkward. All right, 500 flint, that's enough to make some spark powder. Gonna grab the oil, gonna get the fabricator. Gonna use the fabricator to make some bullets, but to do that we need gunpowder, which means we need more spark powder. It is a process, guys. It is a process to get back what we lost, but soon we will be getting our revenge, and hopefully we take way more than they took from us. In fact, I'm almost guaranteeing we will take more than they took from us, because they didn't really take much from us to begin with, you know? They really didn't take that much to begin with. Charcoal. Do we have charcoal? Hopefully he snatched some charcoal on the way back. Why am I not closing the door, lover fellow? Why aren't you closing the door? Because, my friends, because... There's already a hole in the side of it, and it doesn't matter. Charcoal, C-H-A-R. Nope, that's C-4. Charcoal, C-H-A- Oh, there it is. He did grab the charcoal. That's what I like to see. All right, let's get back into base, and really what I got to hope now is that they don't raid us again tonight. So well, maybe we keep it looking like a new base for a while, keep the door purposefully blown up. That way when people come in, um... People are going to come in, they're going to be like, oh, this base was raided, there's nothing here. They're going to leave it because it's not worth it. There's other targets out there. So that's going to be kind of the mind game I think we're going to want to play. And then that one room that we are keeping, we'll just load up with turrets or something like that. A couple rockets. Um, actually, a funny story last night. The guy who raided us tried to raid us last night. And he came in the bushes and was trying to snipe us. One of our guys found him, knocked him out, or killed him or something and took all his stuff. And that's where all those rockets and rocket launchers came from. I think we took like almost 100 rockets from him. And don't care how far you are in the game or how high the rates are. That's still annoying to get back, especially when he got nothing out of it. So, got all those rockets, and we have to assume that's probably the main reason why they attacked us last night was because we just took them down. So, let's get over here, get back inside, drop the oil in the smithy. And I don't know if that's enough oil, was it? Structures, crafting. Yes, all we need is 50 spark powder. We got it. That's such a good feeling. Structures, crafting. Got that fab. I can make two fabs. I don't really need two at this point. Actually got to get gasoline to even run the thing. And I don't know. I was thinking maybe we put it here, but that's probably going to block the door. So actually, if I could just get a nice little view here. Right here seems like a much better placement to me. As close as we can get it there. That looks pretty nice, honestly. That looks pretty nice. Um, we could at least fit two there, maybe even three if we line them up properly and we can just remove this. But this is fine for now. I'm not really worried about it. Okay, things that we need. Narcotics. Let's get some narcotics crafted in this boy. Consumables, drugs, narcotics. 82 narcotics coming up. We're going to get all that spark powder turned into charcoal or gunpowder, whatever it is. And then we don't have any furnaces. So maybe for, uh, no, it's not called a furnace. I always forget the name every time. Industrial forge. We need all kinds of stuff going in here. Flint, wood, Fiber, what else do we need? We need a little bit of more flint and stone. Okay. We may have that in here. We're just going to take it out real quick, build this guy up. Perfecto. And then we'll toss this all back in. I don't know, man. We're tossing everything in here. Let's just get more. Let's just get more of that. Let's get more of that. As for placement, I really did kind of like what we had here, but this time let's try to go with a little more segmented design where we place these and then we'll add like a metal wall right here through the center. I think that'll be good for us. So we'll keep them all on that wall. And then we'll have just like a, a much more honeycomb design. We want to waste more rockets than what they used. 
um, because rockets are more expensive than metal walls, right? So we want to make them use as many as they can to make it as unworth it as possible because right now, look at this room. It's so open. It's so poorly designed. All right, I'm going to toss in what little metal I have into this guy. Should be, I don't know, maybe enough with the other metal we have to create what we need, which is some more walls on the outside. And then, oh, actually I have 50 advanced rifle bullets. Oh yeah, that's right, because one of our turrets was not pin-coded and a dude stole it. In fact, wait a minute. Bullets 50. This one isn't pin-coded. Whoever placed these didn't seem to pin-code our turrets. Is this one pin-coded? Pin-coded. Alright, the ones I placed are pin-coded. This one actually wasn't here, so someone must have just placed that there actually recently, I would assume. That is not a good thing to see. Hopefully the rest of our turrets are pin-coded. Let's go take a peek up here at some of these real quick. I wouldn't think they would take the time to climb it. Bullets, zero. Bullets, zero. Pin coded, are they? Yeah, so I think they just drained these guys of bullets. And then blew into this thing, destroyed the generator, destroyed all the wires. That's an easy fix. One generator, one vertical wire, and then a little outlet. That should be good and quick. We'll just need to craft a bunch more bullets for that one. Would you look at that? We got a turtle that came all the way up here and survived. Let's max out your health a little bit more, my man. You are a very weak turtle. 100, what is that, 10,000 health? 24,000? That, that's not very much compared to our other who's like 200,000 now. Alright guys, so really my plan right now is to edit this video tonight to do a little bit of YouTube work and to rebuild this base. That is my plan. Hopefully we can get back up there and get a good raid on those guys. Get some revenge going. We got some people helping us out. I'm really excited for it. And now at this point, we really don't have much to lose. So let's get out there and let's take them down. I love you guys. I hope you're all having an awesome day. And I'll see you all tomorrow.